Chilla can look. Anybody can make a claim, bro. Anybody can make up any type of statement, uh, especially if there is some type of divorce or some type of uh, custody battle going on. A lot of times, people make up accusations like that for leverage. I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm not making it an excuse for the guy. I don't know. All I'm saying, if you're not, I'm sure that they investigated. They look into that stuff, and if and if they find enough enough grounds, then they'll go for a conviction. There's no conviction on his record, so I can't I can't condemn the guy for okay. that. Okay, okay, I stand corrected. corrected. I stand corrected. I know, but I but see, they can't do that to you either. That's what I'm saying. Like you can't. But they're doing. Uh, that they're doing it, and that's my point, and that's what I'm saying. Like you got to be fair. Right is right. Like if they if they want to complain about those things. You know, false allegations. You know, that's not the only thing. Like, they they put fake shit on me constantly. Like Harry, you know, that's all they do is put fake bullshit charges on me. You know, fake narratives. Um, right. But right. they admit when it happens to them. Like, so I got to, You know, I I keep it a hundred. It makes no difference if I can't stand the person. If I know it's bullshit, then I got to be real. You know what I mean? Because credibility does matter. These guys right. don't have it. They don't have it. Not. But I know, look, I know. This has been their their entire fucking narrative to attack MRE for months and months and months now. I know. That's all we've heard about. Is that- and, and all I have ever done was stick up for him, fight for him, and he sits next to a guy that flip-flops on me and talks shit about me and my family and uh, reads stuff from Vinnie Adams out loud. Fuck Adams. Reads his bullshit letters that... Vinnie Adams, you know, that delusional fucking piece of shit. That's what I was just talking about before you came up. Reciprocation. When you think that you are a friend to somebody, as I was talking about earlier, guys, like with Sophie, uh, I was addressing JJ with this. I was trying to figure out, you know, I was showing kindness and respect. And when certain people attacked uh, JJ for saying something in Sophie's chat, she was just repeating somebody asked what was being talked about and she said, we're talking about this and they said, oh, she's pushing a narrative and she wasn't and I stuck up for her because right is right. You know, you did the same thing with MRE when uh, when bullshit was being thrown the way of one of your so-called friends, you stuck up for him as I stuck up for people too and we don't get no reciprocation and never... We never get it back. Never. You know, oh. and I know what you're feeling, bro. I know. I, I, I've I've been done that way many times. It just fucking happened to me. I got a so-called friend pushing for, trying to say that I got sock accounts in your fucking chat. Of all people, wouldn't I you know? know? <laughs> wouldn't you oh. fucking know? You got a wrench in my chat, and why would you need a sock account? How could you, how could you do a sock account and a wrench at the same time? It's impossible. It's, it's it, impossible. It, it, it's, it's just another lie, bro. It's another fucking lie. Like, and that's my point, too. I'm not a coward. I don't need sock accounts. You see me right here, right now. What do I need a sock account for? I've got a channel with 6,000 subs on it. What the fuck do I need a sock account for? Sock accounts are for people who can't cut the mustard on YouTube. They're, they're too ugly or uh, simple-minded. To- oh, no. Like, if I value my I would try to do a show on me. With his fucking, you know, lie after lie. I mean, you know, this guy don't show his face. He don't have a real he just name. Had a wrench with you. He just had a wrench a week ago. Yeah. No. Well, I took his wrench and Zeal's wrench because I felt something was, I felt something was going to happen. So I took the wrenches. I told him, no hard feelings. You guys are welcome here. They both turned on me, bashed me, went go. right to Angel Gotti, MRE. And like I said, um, MRE got attacked with this chomo shit or chop. I, I, I stuck up for him, and, I'll, and I will and, keep sticking up and, for him because it's and, not right. Uh, and, and what happened, he ran over to Sajio show and started pushing. Well, what happened was I got uh, I got that Don Berlin guy talking some really nasty shit about me and my dog. And, you know, it's slander. It's defamation of character. He went into graphic details where dogs don't like condoms. They like a hard, you know, they're, they're like the skin. You know what I mean? He went into some really cool, you know, disgusting Who talks shit. like that? Who Don talks Berlin. like that? I, so, I so what I did was I screen recorded it and I posted it. And then I did a show about it. And I told Don Belen, my lawyers are looking at you. I'm going to sue the shit out of you for as much as I can get. 
just like FBS sued, tried to sue Sessa, I'm going to sue you. Well, Don Berlin and, and, and uh, Satcho have a, a, an open line together. So Satcho comes out the next day with Tony Pizza Likes Dogs and starts fucking smashing me about dogs, right? Playing the tape over and over and over again. And then he puts my brother on. And says, I hope uh, your brother don't talk about you diddling him. Okay, so regardless of that, now, now, now I'm going to just interject for a so second. Now, so now, now wait, wait, wait. MRE, MRE jumped right over there and, you know, didn't correct them at all. But that's what I'm saying is that it doesn't make a difference. I, I want people, this is what I want people to look at right now. Subtract Tony Pizza from the equation. We're looking at the behaviors of specific people. You look at Tony's behavior, you look at my behavior, and you look at, you have to look at stand up guys' behavior too, guys. Um, because let's just say, SoFlo, we've seen what he's done to my family. Is it okay for me then to do it to him, to go, to do something as equally disgusting or worse? No. It makes me, people will look at, Johnny Mac's behavior is disgusting and filthy. And the same thing should be done with stand-up guy. I'm not saying he's the worst guy around other than he's a piece of shit and this and that, but his fucking behavior and the stuff that he did, no good. Not good. No. Not cool. 